Nextool just announced a UV printer at CES, but they did something unusual. They announced it way earlier than you'd normally see, like months before launch. And I think I know why. I've been watching UV printing closely. I backed the UV Make E1, I'm waiting for my unit to arrive. I've been following Longer's Kickstarter and other machines. So when Xtool showed off their entry at CES, I wanted to dig into what they actually are bringing to the table. In the next five minutes, I'm going to break down everything that they showed, what's still missing, and whether this whole co-creation approach is genuine or just marketing. If you've been paying attention, 2026 is shaping up to be the year that UV printing actually becomes accessible for homemakers. UV Make is shipping their E1, Longa is running a Kickstarter, and now Xtool, who basically owns the desktop laser and apparel printing market, is entering the space as well. And this is what they showed at CES, the Xtool UV printer. And right away, you can notice it's not trying to be compact. It's bigger than the UV Make, taller, wider, and they're clearly going for capability over desk space. And the output looks impressive. Full color on mugs, phone cases, metal, acrylic, leather, you name it. This Joker and Harley print caught my eye. The color fidelity looks really good for a prototype. They're also claiming it can do lenticular printing, DTF skateboard decks, and textured embossed effects. Basically positioning this as the most capable desktop UV printer, not the cheapest. All right, let me break down what actually stood out and where I'm curious to see more. From what I've seen from other creators who got hands-on time with the machine, the hardware looks solid. It's got dual print heads, which should mean better print speed and quality. The plantain system is modular, which means you can swap from a five by three inch bed up to an A3 size, which is massive. That's 13 by 16 and a half inches. The rotary is a chuck style system with auto tilt, much like the Eufy make. And apparently it can handle 40 ounce Stanley tumblers with the handles still on. That's actually a big deal if you're into custom drinkware. But here's where it's really interesting. If you're already in the Xtool ecosystem, direct integration with their laser cutters. Print your design on the UV printer and then it laser cuts to the exact shape with no manual alignment needed. If you already own an Xtool laser, that workflow could be huge. And it integrates into the Xtool software ecosystem. AI tools, cost estimates, templates for things like lenticular effects. On paper, this looks really capable. But here's where I want to know more about the maintenance system. So Eufy Make is marketing their auto cleaning as a major feature. Longer's talking about their own maintenance solutions. And this is actually critical because maintenance is arguably the main thing that's kept UV printers in the industrial space for so long. It's expensive, it's complicated, it requires constant attention. So now Xtool has an auto cleaning system in their apparel printer. So there's speculation that something similar could be in this UV machine, but they haven't shown it or talked about it yet. They've mentioned the AP2 air purifier integration for dealing with VOCs, which is good, but what about the print head maintenance itself? Maybe they're just holding back details until it's closer to launch. Maybe it's still being finalized, but given how important this is for making UV printing actually accessible to homemakers, I'd really like to see what their approach is in this area. Now, the reason why they announced this so early is the co-creation program. Xtool is inviting makers into a founding co-creator group where you can supposedly give feedback on features and suggest software additions, influence what makes into the final product. The pitch is help us shape this before we ship it out. And look, if that's genuine, that's actually really cool. But here's my question. They're targeting a quarter two for launch. That's April to June. We're talking three to five months away. So how much can community feedback actually change at this point? Are we talking real influence, like we need auto cleaning and they engineer it in? Or are we talking about software templates and UI tweaks? Because those are very different levels of impact. There's still a lot I want to see before I form a final opinion. Print quality comparisons, real maintenance workflows, pricing details, because affordable means different things to many people. Right now I'm interested, but I'm waiting to see more. And here's where I land. Xtool has a track record. They've shipped professional grade tools that actually work. The specs they're showing, dual heads, A3 capability, ecosystem integration, those are legitimately interesting. And if you're considering UV printing, I think it's worth joining the co-creation program. Not just to get early info, but to actually push them on the stuff that matters. Ask about auto cleaning, ask about maintenance, ask about real world ink costs and consumables. Will your feedback actually change the product? 
I don't know. But I'd rather be there asking questions than waiting to see what they ship. Because if they're serious about co-creation, this is the window to have your voice heard. I'll drop a link to the co-creation program in the description. If you join, let me know in the comments what you're asking for. I'm curious what features the community is pushing for. And if you want updates as more info comes out, subscribe. I'll be following this as we get close to launch, especially once we get pricing and final specs. All right, that's it. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.